Okay, so here's our second example of variables on both sides. And this is has less to do with geometry and more to do with like the word problem and trying to understand the word problem. So we have UPS charges $7 for their first pound. So I'm going to write that down. Because if UPS charges $7 for their first pound, we're just going to write down a 7. And, well, that's going to tell me a plus. So and $0.2 for each additional pound. Now, I don't know how many additional pounds I'm going to need, so I'm just going to call that X. And they said FedEx charges, so I'm going to put FedEx on this side, and maybe I'll use a different color, so we'll use purple. So FedEx charges $5, and then for every additional one, they charge 0.3. I'm going to put x again because I don't know how, how many additional pounds. And they told me to use the variable p, but um, I didn't read that ahead of time. So our variable p is going to be the same as our x. And so it will take, like how long will it take them to be the same? Because obviously on the first pound, UPS is more expensive. But it seems like every additional pound, this gets a little bit cheaper because it's only 0.2 instead of this price of 0.3. So we want to know when they are the same. So when these two things are the same. So let's see if we can solve that. Again, I'm going to try to get both variables on the same side. So let me take this point 2 and move it over. Then I should have 7 equals 5 plus 0.1x. Then after I got that over, Let's get our numbers over, so minus 5, minus 5, and I'll have 2 equals 0.1x. Then we'll divide by 0.1, divide by 0.1, move that down. Now, if you can't do this in your head, that's fine. You just pull out a nifty calculator, and you go to divided by 0.1, and we can see that if that equals 20. So, close that out. We'll see that x equals 20. So, FedEx and UPS will be the same price at 20. And that's kind of how I solve it. So, you, you set up your two equations. After you find that, you put them equal. And then you start to solve. Again, just like our first example that we, we kind of went through, our second example again has variables on both sides so that's the focus a lot of times when we're setting two things equal and finding out when they're the same we'll have variables on both sides so try some of the just word problems without any pictures to it